Hello everyone, I'm Urs Reicher, photographer at Broncolor. Hi, I'm Carl Taylor, photographer and photography instructor. So Urs, why don't you tell the good people exactly what How To is? Well Carl, How To is a fantastic educational resource from Broncolor. We've created lots of reference images, each one with its own lighting diagram and description. That's right Urs, and to access this great information, you simply need to follow Broncolor through their website or like them on their Facebook page for regular updates. What's going to happen today, Carl? Uh, well, Urs, for this how-to, I decided that we should mess up your studio instead oh. of my studio. So uh, here, in, here in Switzerland, we're going to try and uh, take advantage of the super fast flash duration of the Scoro packs uh, with the one ten thousandth of a second with a T point one, and we're going to smash some wine glasses and hopefully capture the breaking glass and mm. the flying liquid. Is your finger fast enough to, to do this? No, definitely not fast enough. What we're using is a trigger smart system that we can see here. This is a sound activated device. So basically we have a sensor here that picks up the loud bang of the crashing glasses, All right. sends a signal to the camera to trigger the camera. And it does this very, very quickly, hopefully quick enough to capture the breaking glass. Okay, so the microphone the triggers the camera, the camera triggers the flash? Absolutely. All right, yeah. Okay. And then basically, if we have a look at the flash uh, setup. So, over here, as you can see, we have the Scoro. We have this set at the 10,000th uh, of a second duration. Mm -hmm. And we have three soft boxes for this setup. One softbox is our main light above the flying liquid. One below that uh, we will see how this works. I may have to adjust the balance on this yet. And then another large 30 by 180, just to put a bit of graduation up the gray background. And as you can see, we've put a little bit of protective sheeting over the uh, yeah. lights, and we'll probably put one over the Scoro pack as well, because there could be quite a bit of liquid in yes. this. Thank you very much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, these are your lights. So, these are yeah, my yeah. lights. So. <laughs> So hopefully there's a little bit of luck involved with this. Uh, obviously we've got everything set the best we can, yep. but there is a lot of luck on how well the glass breaks, which direction the liquid flies. We may have to do many attempts to get it right. So okay. we'll give it a go. Um, and we have uh, Jessica over here, uh, who is going to be kindly dropping the glasses. So Jessica, if you can go in position and just show us what you're going to be doing. So. Basically, Jessica will be holding a glass with the liquid, and she will be letting it go from this point. So we've put in this bar here, so we've got a reference guide of where to drop the liquid, so it lands on top of this one, and hopefully Jessica will get that right, and uh, we'll get some luck and hopefully get the shot. Okay. Okay, so let's give it a try. So there's just a couple of extra things that I need to do, Urs. One is to make sure the camera hasn't gone to sleep and that the trigger is ready. Mm -hmm. But the most important thing is to lock the mirror up on the camera. I normally do this when I have long time exposures to avoid the, the shaking, but now we have a 10,000th of a second. So you yeah. still need it? Yeah, it's not to avoid the shaking, it's simply to reduce the delay time of the trigger activation, right. because the trigger sends a signal to the camera, and there's an extra delay of the mirror going up. So if we can avoid that delay by putting the mirror up already, it means the response time is much, much quicker. I see. And then finally, I would just recommend some safety glasses, so that any sense. flying glass doesn't hit anyone. Jessica's already got hers on. And yeah, we're ready to start the first okay. test. So let's see Good what luck. we get. Yes, so captured it. Sometimes the glasses bounce in the air and the liquid flies out, different things happen. So I think we have to do a few attempts to see, see what happens here. Yeah.
All right, Carl, I hope this was the last one. We smashed something like 20 glasses. You made a terrible mess in our studio. Yeah, uh, oh, is that the time I've got a flight to catch? <laughs> see you guys. <laughs> yeah, see you.